Well, welcome back. I want to begin in earnest looking at the book of Revelation today, and we're going to start with verse 1 of chapter 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants things which must shortly take place. So that very first word, revelation, in the Greek, the word is apocalypsis. And when we hear that word in English, apocalypse, we think end of the world scenarios. We're thinking earthquakes, volcanoes, meteor strikes, and so on. But in reality, the word means an uncovering or unveiling. So I just quickly want to share with you a couple of passages where this word is used elsewhere in scripture. Luke chapter 2, verse 32 Simeon's words upon seeing baby Jesus, he says, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. Romans chapter 8 again. For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 14. How is it then, brethren, Whenever you come together, each of you has a psalm, has a teaching, has a tongue, has a revelation, has an interpretation. Let all things be done for edification. So the word apocalypse doesn't need to be as threatening as we imagine that it is. And if we look at the book of Revelation, we find actually it is a book full of reveals. So for example, chapter 1 John hears a voice behind him, turns around, and the Lord Jesus Christ is revealed. Chapters 2 and 3, the Lord in those short letters to the seven churches reveals the character of those churches. And we have in chapters 5, 6 and 8, the seals that are gradually opened and the contents of the book is revealed. And indeed, you can look at any of the visions in the book that John has and they are in a sense a revelation things are uncovered by them look there's another example I want to point to jumping back into the Old Testament this is Numbers chapter 12 really unusual little story where Miriam and Aaron have a dispute with Moses and in verse 10 it says this this is the New King James Version and when the cloud departed from above the tabernacle, suddenly Miriam became leprous as white as snow. Then Aaron turned towards Miriam and there she was, a leper. I just want to point out something here that as English readers of translations, we must be aware of and awake to. You'll notice in that passage that the words became and white as are marked in italics. The reason they're in italics is because they do not actually exist in the Hebrew text. They've been inserted by the translator to try to make sense of what the text is saying. If we look at the English Standard Version, they translate that verse slightly differently. When the cloud removed from over the tent, behold, Miriam was leprous, like snow. And Aaron turned toward Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. The mechanical translation writes it in this way. And the cloud turned aside from upon the tent, and look, Miriam is being infected like the snow. And Aaron turned to Miriam, and look, she is being infected. We look at that verse as though Miriam is being cursed. It's not. It is a revelation of her character in that moment. And that's a fundamentally different way to look at that passage. It's not that this is something that the Lord willed upon Miriam. This is Miriam's actual inner state, which is being shown. It is being uncovered. It is being revealed. Let's go back to Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The end of that verse says must shortly take place. So shortly, soon. How soon? 
if we think about the events of this book in a literal way, like these things are actually physically going to take place, it's been close on 2,000 years since these words were first written. When we talk about this idea of a revelation, the reason it talks about it happening soon is that we are talking about a present reality that exists within our lives already, which is merely waiting to be revealed. It's waiting to be shown. You know, if you pay attention closely enough, your response to circumstances now reveals your own inner nature. Now, the author M. Scott Peck calls stress a test of goodness. You know, to what extent can you practice kindness in the face of difficult circumstances? Or to what extent can you practice kindness when you don't have the sense of being observed or you're not seeking to make a good impression? This for me is what this verse speaks about. This revelation, the revealing of an inner character that already exists and is merely waiting to be shown, is waiting to be seen. But I wonder what you think. Do you take the book of Revelation, the apocalypse, as being these physical catastrophic events which are going to take place, which we've always been on the cusp of? Or is there a deeper meaning, a more personal one, that we can apply to here and now without having to wait for the end of the world. I'd be glad for you to drop a comment below. As always, keep it friendly, and I look forward to seeing you next time.